A lot of money on the line. We'll talk about that. It's time to and we are here at Baja Limo's party bus, and I decided to give my photographer, Cornelius Thompson, a break. But in a bit, I'll be driving this. Come back and keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> Yeah. Right. It was just, it just, it seems odd to me. Hmm. It's 819 at Fox 40 Live. We've seen her driving a bus, a big old bus, and she found out the hard way that maybe she shouldn't quit her morning job. Yes, this morning, Darsha is getting behind the wheel again, and this time in a party bus limo. Good morning, Darsha. Good morning. This is what I will be driving, this fantastic party bus limo from Baja Limo. I got the rundown a little bit, but I'm going to tell you, I'm a little bit nervous. And this guy right here, Tyson Miles, my instructor, I think is a bit more nervous. I'm gonna take my mic over here. Tyson, thank you so much for, for teaching me how to drive this. Tell me a little bit about um, the limo. How, how large is this? This is about 45 feet long and um, seats about 25 to 30 passengers. Um, we do uh, different events, corporate events, bachelor parties. Uh, basically the, the limo itself is uh, comfortable. We keep all our vehicles pristine and clean. And, well, tell me a little bit about, um, you were talking about driving this thing. You said that it's pretty, pretty difficult because there's a swing factor. And I'm going to have to be making a turn here in a little bit. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, there's a really long swing factor, about four feet from the wheel to the back of the limo. So is that when you're turning left or you're turning right, um, it'll swing out. And if okay. you're not careful, it can wipe <laughs> out, yeah, whatever is kind of like in your oh, path. No. So you're just really aware of all four points okay. of the vehicle. Tyson, I know I told you I drove an RT bus in this very parking lot, but I did not tell you that I scratched that RT bus. Oh, okay. So we're not going to have that problem today because I actually trained the driver, so we're, we're, we're going to make sure you're on point. Definitely. Okay, okay. Definitely. He, he was okay. very surprised when I told him. Okay, I'm going to okay. go ahead and climb into the driver's seat, and uh, we're going to see if we can do this. And you're going to actually, uh, are you going to be in the passenger seat with me? Yes, I am. Hey, okay. Darsha, oh. Darsha, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. And this is a big, like, a semi kind of a vehicle. Is this, this thing an automatic or a stick shift? This is uh, an automatic vehicle. It operates much like the RT bus, but it is, you're very correct. When I sat in there, it's kind of like sitting in a big rig truck. Um, and it's very, it handles very differently. The RT bus, you just kind of pointed and it would go. This, you have to be very, very conscious of where you're turning um, and what you're doing. So, you guys. This has a nose on it, right? Whereas the what, the RT buses, aren't you right up there without the, the front? Exactly. When I ran over that cone with the RT bus, <laughs> you're, you're right up in front of it. Um, this, I'm a little bit nervous, you guys. I'm not going to lie because uh, Miles, uh, Tyson Miles tells me uh, this this costs about $180,000. Oh, hello. Um, so I'm going to put my seatbelt on. <laughs> and let me go ahead and take off because I'm being told that we don't have too much time here. Well, watch you right off into the sunset here. We got the, I, I'm on the brake. I got to put, sure. get in drive. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. What have you done? Already... That's all right. Door oh. closed. Okay. Passenger I had to make door. sure that the door was closed. <laughs> you guys, this is too nerve wracking. And my parking brake, I got to. Have your foot on the brake. My, you're going to my... release the brake by pushing it in. Pushing it in. Okay. 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 And these are air brakes. So you will hear it grind. And when it first when it first did that, I got scared. I thought I broke it, but um, you, you'll it's not me. Hey, look at so, you go! Look at you go! Look at me go! Um, Tyson, tell me a little bit about also. I know you said that you get some. What well, you also have to deal with are people in the back of this bus being a little bit nutty. Yeah, it can be a little nerve wracking at time, and that's pretty much the goes with the job. Is that you're you're not just uh, driving, obviously. Um, there's a lot of variables that go with the job as we want our clients to have fun We're also making sure that everybody is safe our one of our number one goals is to be safe and uh, People are trying to you know stand up and what have you so obviously I'm watching the road So it can be a little nerve-wracking at time not to mention the height and the width of the vehicle yeah. So you're well, watching a lot. Well, look at me. Just make that turn you guys that and was fantastic that wasn't it? I, I cleared it no scratches and when I come back you guys, I'm going to take you inside the back of this bus and show you all the fun things that you can do. Um, we've been having fun. I just want to stay in there and be a passenger. That's so what I'm curious about. Does it have a disco ball? <laughs> it, they do. They I do. I'll they play do. some music. I mean, you look like a pro there, Darsha. Nicely done. Thanks. Just don't leave the parking lot, Darsh. 824 <laughs> now <clears throat> at Fox 40 Live. We're going to spin this goofy wake-up wheel. We do it every shot Wednesday. If we could have heard it there. All right. Uh, boy, does it smell good in here or what? It smells wonderful. Oh, no, we're going to be cooking here in a little bit. We're excited about that. But first, she's tried her hand behind the wheel, and now she's going to check out uh, the bell and the whistles. We've got the Darsha Phillips checking out the party bus from Baja Limo. Uh, put on your seatbelt, Darsha. Yeah.
<laughs> hey, you guys, my job is so difficult right now, right? Um, we are in the back of the party bus, Baja Limo. I'm here with Tyson Miles. He was able to uh, teach me how to drive this thing. And let me tell you, that was really that was a little bit difficult. I went slow. I wasn't racing this time. But Tyson, we've been uh, sitting here talking about some of the stories he has heard or experienced in the back of this limo. Tell me some of the crazy stories. Uh, not really just the crazy, <laughs> but when people get into the limo, they, they see it, it's just an automatic party. The, the, it sets the tone for party. Um, crazier stories that I, I see that moms a lot of times from, <laughs> from 45 or 50 become 20 all of a sudden. So yeah, um, other than that, just, uh, just a lot of craziness. People get on here, they want to dance, they want to party. And uh, I guess if I had to say any of the craziest stuff is that people want to jump up front with me. Of course, they can't do that. No so, kidding. Yeah, they want to drive. More than anything, they want to drive. And when you're driving this, I mean, that's a lot to deal with. I was, I didn't have any passengers back here, and right. I had to be looking at my mirrors and stuff. But when you have the music going and people going nuts back here, it's, it's right. kind of difficult. Yeah, a lot of variables go with driving this particular vehicle and, and pretty much any limo, but this one especially because, you know, there's a lot of trying to stand up, you know, me sitting them down and keeping on top of them. But also the four points of view, as I told you before, you're watching everything, the yeah. height, the length, the width, all of that. And also making sure the passengers are safe. I have to ask the question, who's crazier, the men or the women back here? Oh, the women by far. <laughs> no, no, no doubt. And I think they know that. I mean that with all politeness. But <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, and then also, this isn't something that you just have to get to if you want to go to the club or if you want to go crazy. You guys do other kinds of tours as well. Uh, yeah, we do uh, Christmas life tours, a lot of corporate events, uh, baseball games, basketball games, a lot of Kings games. Um, you know, uh, the wine tours in Napa Valley, Amador, we do pretty much all that. Um, we go to Reno, Lake Tahoe. How much does this cost for a, a, a night or a couple of hours? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty much like anywhere from like a hundred and a half or, and, and basically what, what happens is the office will negotiate what exactly you're doing for that function, but it's like a hundred and a half an hour. Okay. So and it can you know go up or go lower depending on what they're doing. But definitely this is a lot of fun. Leather seats, you get complimentary champagne and drinks, and you can bring your own alcohol in here if you want to as well. Um, it's a lot of fun. They've got this flat screen TV. I'm having a, a lot of fun out here. I do not want to leave. But we're going to link this up, uh, Baja Limos, to fox40.com. So if you guys have any other questions, go to fox40.com. Click on quick links, and we'll have all that information here. I'm going to go ahead and drink my Sprite, you guys. Yes. Cheers. Yeah, right. Cheers. Okay. in the Baja limo and I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat for just a little bit. <laughs> All right thanks Darsha. Nice to see Clark Griswold behind you there this morning. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to make <laughs> reservations Baja limo located at 11405 White Rock Road in Rancho Cordoba just give them a call 446-2252 we'll have that information for you. Quick links uh, at fox40.com. All right. Okay. All right let's finish up with the Joy Reid this morning from